Hi guys, welcome back to Spelling and Word Study. My name is Mrs. Rhodes and I'm here to get you started on Unit 33, Words That End With I-O-U-S. Please take a second to gather your materials. You will need this purple book open to page 203. You'll also need some colorful pens, markers, or crayons. Remember, whatever I mark on my board, you should be marking on your page. Please save room for a key as well. All right, for the last several weeks, we have been talking about the letter I, and we've discovered that it can make some pretty unusual sounds. Sometimes it makes a long E sound in a word like radio. Sometimes it makes a Y sound in a word like genius. Last week, we learned that it can combine with the letter C to make a CH sound or a SH sound. So we're gonna keep all of that in mind this week as we read through our list. Notice all of our words end with the O-U-S suffix, which signifies an adjective. But before that O-U-S, there is an I. So let's read our list as we do. Use your ears to listen for that I sound. Notice if it's making an E, a SH, or a CH sound. Please repeat after me. Conscious, curious, delicious, devious, envious, ferocious, furious, glorious, gracious, luscious, obvious, precious, previous, serious, spacious, studious, Suspicious, tedious, various, vicious. All right, choose a color. And the first thing I want to do is I want to look for words that have C-I right before the suffix. So we see it here in the word conscious. Now we know that when that C-I follows an N sound, a N, it's gonna make a ch sound. So this is pronounced conscious. Now here, the CI is following an I. So it's just gonna say sh, delicious. Here, it's following an O. So it's also gonna make a sh sound, ferocious, gray, Luscious. Precious. Spacious. Suspicious. Vicious. Okay. So we have a lot of words this week that contain a CI before the O-U-S suffix. Most of the time, it's going to make a SH sound. The only time it's going to make a CH sound is when the sound that comes right before it is an N. Conscious. Okay? So over here, pink circle equals CI, and it is going to make a sh or a ch sound, okay? Most of the time, it'll make a sh sound. All right, let's find the I in the rest of our words. So here it is, in curious, devious, envious, furious, Glorious. I want you to notice, by the way, where this long E sound is showing up. It always comes after a consonant before a vowel. After a consonant before a vowel. Doesn't matter if the consonant is R or V. Okay. Obvious. Another long E sound. Previous. Another long E sound. Serious. 
I am noticing, by the way, that the most common consonants that show up before it are the V or the R. Studious. Not sure if that's a coincidence or not. Tedious. Various. Okay. Everything I just circled in green uses the letter I to make a long E sound, okay? Both of these concepts should be review for you because in week 32, so last week, we learned about the CI sound and a few weeks ago, week 30, is when we learned that, that I can make a long E sound, okay? Several weeks before that, we learned about the OUS suffix, and we discovered that that is a derivational suffix that you can add to a noun or an um, a noun or a verb to turn it into an adjective. So let me show you what I mean. Look at the word envious. Here's our root here. The word is envy, right? When you are full of envy, you want what someone else has. It is an adjective. Well, envy is a noun. Envious is an adjective. When you're envious, you want what someone else has. Okay, you might be envious of somebody else's good looks. You might be envious of somebody else's nice house. You might be envious of somebody else's friends, okay? So when you are envious, you are full of envy. When you are furious, that's another feeling word, another adjective, you are full of fury. Fury is extreme anger. So if you're furious, it means you are very angry, okay? I want you to notice what we did with both of these words. That Y turned into an I. The Y in fury turned into an I. Glorious is also an adjective. Um, yes, it's an adjective. And the noun that's hiding in there is glory. Glory is greatness, right? It's that wonderful feeling that everything is, is going well in life. So if you are having a glorious day or a glorious experience, it means wonderful. Okay? It's full of glory. Um, I think there were more here. Studious. Another adjective, it describes a person who studies a lot, right? A kid who studies a lot, prepares for their tests, does their homework, is very studious. So studious, I'm gonna write, studies a lot. Various is also a describing word. And the word hiding in there is vary. When things vary, they change a lot. So my schedule might vary. Some days I wake up at six, some days I wake up at seven, some days I wake up at eight. It varies, right? I get up at various times. So various just means changing. Okay? What I want you to notice is that all five of these words started with a noun or a, a verb that uh, ended with Y. Envy became envious, fury became furious, glory became glorious, study became studious, very became various. In each of these words that I just underlined, my Y changes to I, and then I add O-U-S, okay? They are all adjectives. Now take a look at this word. Gracious. It's another adjective. Can you see a noun hiding in there? Yeah, grace. If someone is full of grace, 
they are gracious. Think about a gracious host. They're warm, they're kind, they're welcoming. This is a word that describes a person. A person who's full of grace is gracious. Now notice this time my base word ended with an E. It still got switched to an I though. So grace becomes gracious. Here, what word's hiding in spacious? Yeah, space. So if you are looking for a new apartment, you want something that has plenty of space for you. You're looking for a spacious apartment, okay? That E becomes an I. It's really important, by the way, that we keep that or that we put that I there because if we didn't, if we dropped that E and added O-U-S, it would say spacious, right? Because we know that C is hard when it's followed by the letter O. So this would say spacious, this would say gracious. So we need that I to keep the C soft. So in both of these examples, I had an E that changed to I before I added the O-U-S. Now, all the rest of our words this week are adjectives as well. However, it's not so easy to pull out a base word. They have plenty of Latin roots hiding in there. Um, they're just not as straightforward as the ones we already talked about. But let's go through them. If somebody is conscious, it means they are awake. That is another adjective. The opposite of that would be unconscious, right? Now, check out this. We talked about this Latin root last week. We know that anything that has SCI in it probably has something to do with knowing. Last week we talked about conscience. Your conscience is what helps you know the difference between right and wrong. We talked about the word omniscient. A, uh, a god or a narrator is omniscient if they know everything. They're all knowing. So if you are conscious, you're awake. You know what's going on around you, right? When you're unconscious, you don't know what's happening. Curious is another describing word. If you're curious, you're just full of wonder. You're asking lots of questions. You're observing things. Delicious, you know that word. If something's delicious, it's tasty. Devious is another adjective. It describes a person, a person who's sneaky. A person can be devious, also a plan. Somebody can have a devious plan, a sneaky or cunning plan. Ferocious. This is an adjective we use to describe wild animals. Tigers, lions. Some breeds of dog, I guess, can be trained to be ferocious, right? Like a guard dog. Uh, luscious is another describing word that we use to describe food. If something's luscious, it's tasty. It's a synonym for delicious. Now, even though this has SCI, it doesn't come from the same root, okay? Luscious has nothing to do with knowing. Obvious. If something's obvious, it's easy to see. If a person is crying in front of you, well, then it's obvious they're upset. It's easy to see. Precious means valuable. My photo albums, my scrapbooks, they are precious to me. I would be very, very sad if something happened to them. Um, diamonds and rubies are precious stones. They are valuable. Previous, another adjective. Previous means um, like the last one or before. So I stayed up late on Saturday, but I went to bed early the previous night, the night before. 
serious. Um, I think you know that word, right? We can use it to describe a person. A person can be in a very serious mood, or maybe they're just a serious person. Maybe they just don't joke around, goof around a lot. We can be in serious situations, right, where we have to pay attention. We talked about spacious and studious. Suspicious. Suspicious can be used to describe a person's feeling. If you're suspicious, then you think someone is up to something, right? If something looks suspicious, then you think maybe something weird or bad happened. Tedious. That's a great word to know. Tedious means boring. Things become tedious if they last too long, like a meeting, right? Where you just sit there for hours and hours, it becomes tedious. Some chores, like brushing our teeth every day, making our bed every day, start to feel tedious. And then the last one is vicious. And that is a synonym for ferocious, right? Because uh, if someone is, if an animal is vicious, like a dog, it means that it's gonna bite you, right? But a person can be vicious too. If a person's vicious, they're really mean. They're not gonna bite you, obviously, like a dog, but they might say things that they know are gonna hurt you. Okay, when you get to page 206, you're gonna have a little more practice with this O-U-S suffix, okay? So you have a bunch of nouns and verbs up here. Fury, study, grace, glory. You're gonna change these to adjectives by adding O-U-S. But first, you have to add a bridge. That bridge is gonna be the letter I, okay? Now, in a word like fury, you're gonna change the Y to I to make furious. In the case of grace, you're gonna drop that E and change it to I to make grace become gracious. Once you have your word bank up here, use these words to fill in the sentences on the bottom. All right, that's all I have for you right now. Good luck and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.